everyone, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing an Ipsy unbagging that came today, as well as a review of last month, as well as a major life update. So the bag this month is super cute. I've taken everything out. I've looked at it, swatched it. I've got some thoughts already. Um, but look how cute this bag is. So it's like tan with some white polka dots and a black bottom and these beautiful red lips and a smiling mouth. And the pull tag is... Is it a butterfly or a cloud or something? I don't know. It's a cute little shape, um, but it's got black lining in the middle. It's a cute bag. Like, I really like this bag. I don't know what I'm going to use it for because now I have like so many bags, but I really like it. So the card is volume up with this lovely picture on it. I don't know. I wish they had more information on the back. I really do. Like, I get they want you to go to the website because that's more traffic, more things you might buy and do. But, like, why can't I have both? Why can't I have the website and just, like, something on here, like, price, description, actual name, maybe? Because sometimes it's hard to tell on the packaging what the name really is. IDK. But tell me down below if you feel Ipsy should also put, like, names and description and prices on the back of their cute little cards. Like, please tell me you're feeling this, too. All right, so the first thing we got um, is two different sheet masks. As you know, I love sheet masks, and I'm happy to have these. I also have a bajillion from a sale on Hot Look, like back in January, that this summer I'm really going to try to work through. Um, but I'm going to try these ones out first because why not? They're here. This is Bio Republic Skincare Green Tea Detox with Purifying Vitamin E. And, okay, they both have vitamin E, but this one is Purifying. And this one is Aloe Rescue, um, and it's got vitamin E, and it's revitalizing. So this one's revitalizing. Talk slower, Caitlin. It's okay. And this one is purifying. And of course, on the back, they say, like, use two to three times per week. But, like, I've only got one of each. I can't really do that. Um, so let's do, let's do the cute one first. This was a box, cute little box. Of course, it's like not focusing. My lights wash everything out. Um, but cute little box. It's like white with like color splotches all over it. Um, and it's heavy. And I'm like, what is this? What is Trust Fun Beauty? IDK. And then I open it up and it is a beautiful bottle of nail polish. Like, look at this color. This is just a fabulous spring summer color. I don't really have a lot like this. I'm really happy to get something like this. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's kind of like a sea foamy green minty blue deal. It's called What's a Budget? But um, it actually, you can't see my desk here, well, my little cabinet here, but it like totally matches it perfectly, so I'm all for it. Um, the next thing is something I'm not super happy about because I've had them before. This is the NYX Whipped um, Lip and Cheek Color in the shade Pink Cloud. Um, it comes on this like weird, really big, um, doe foot applicator that you're supposed to use on your cheeks easily. I'm like, this is huge for my cheeks and it's not so good on the lips. This stuff doesn't last very well on the lips. Um, and I've never really used it as a cheek color. Um, IDK. You know, I might, I might give it a shot. I'm not super fond of cream and liquid, uh, cheek colors. You have to use, like, that's a lot. Already, I'm like, that's too much. I used, that was like that tiny little swipe and that's way too much. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll figure something out. I'll try it. You know, I'll give it a shot. We'll try it. We'll see if it works. Um, okay. So the next thing I think is super hilarious. So, of course you can't see anything, but this is the Balm, Balm Springs. It is their newest blush. It is a beautiful shade and look how big that sample is this is um 0.8 grams and it's about a six of the full size how do i know that look look familiar i just got this in the mail on friday yesterday today is saturday the 10th i got this in the mail friday the 9th what do you mean caitlin so they came out with this a while ago two months ago three months ago maybe um i was like oh my gosh i have to get that that looks stunning but I'm going to wait for it to either go on hot look or for the bomb to have a sale. I don't need more blush. I just want it. So again, beautiful, stunning, like mauve, neutral. You can't really see much on my finger, 
but like, oh, that's just so nice. And I feel like that's just gonna look so good on the face. Like, it feels almost made for me. So I don't need to have this sample as well. I will put this in my giveaway to friends and family box and see if one of my cousins might want it. The next thing is super, super cool. This is the City Color Cosmetics Shimmer Shadow in the shade Cheers to Life. I was blown away when I swatched this. So there it is in the pan, super shiny. Now when you swatch it, it is so soft. Um, earlier, cause oh, I did check this out earlier. Like, look at that. Like, first of all, the color is very nice. It's a brownie, bronzy gold. And then just like, look at that. Look at that shine. Um, one, two, three, four, five. That was all that came in that super adorable bag. So while I'm cleaning off my hand, let me tell you my really cool life news update. I'm moving. It's really exciting, really cool. Um, I've been living with my parents for the past five years after college. Where I live here in the Bay Area is really, really expensive. We're moving now, my friend and I, is expensive, but it's really nice. It's two bed, two bath, uh, detached one car garage, other parking elsewhere. It's in a little gated area. There's two pools, there's laundry on site. Like it's really nice and it's really close to the freeway, freeway which is great for my friend's job. <sighs> it's just a really nice like step up into adulthood like not that living with your parents means you're not an adult you are but you know when you're living back at home especially in the room that you've lived in since you were like a preteen it's 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 not always the best thing so it's just gonna be a really nice step up and I'm really excited like we went today to sign the paper saying um, we gave you the deposit and we're gonna get pg e in our name by this date. So the either the 14th or 15th, which is Wednesday or Thursday, we're going to go down, sign the rest of the contract, and then on Friday we're getting the keys and on Saturday we can move in. Like, that's insane. Last week we went to apply. This week we get told, yes, next week we're going to move in. And I get it. They want to have people in the units like as quick as possible because then they get more money. So that totally makes sense. But it's just really exciting and a lot is happening quick. And it's also the end of the year. Next week is the last week of school. So there's just a lot happening. Um, but you know, soon enough, there's going to be a new background. I'm not sure my uploading recording schedule, it's that, what's going to happen with that. But by the end of the month, I'll be in a new place and you know, it'll be all brand new and exciting for everyone. I'll probably take you along with some of the unpacking because why not? Why not a summer and I can record whatever I want. All right, before this video gets too long, I want to show you what I got last month and how I felt about that. So last month was this super cute bag with the ice creams on it and it was see-through and it was just so fun to have this one. I totally thought this belief moisturizing balm was um, an actual sample, but it wasn't. It was like a point reward that I got that I completely forgot about. There's about 10 mils in here and I loved this. This is great for the morning. It's super moisturizing for my dry skin, but it soaks in really quickly. So in the space of a minute or two, you can, you know, put some clothes on and then put your primer on and you're good to go. Um, my light's dying a little bit. Hopefully it's not too upsetting for you guys. This Charcoal wash off mask, I didn't use at all. Just completely forgot about it. Um, this is the Urban Decay Highlight in Sin. And this is stunning. I'm wearing it today. And of course, as my light is dying now, I'm losing all light. Let's see if I can fix this. As I was saying, this is the highlight I'm wearing today. It's really nice. I really like it. I'm totally going to be keeping this one. So this is the eight hour afterglow in sin. I'm going to tell you it stays on your face all day. You still look good. You still got a glow going. I really like it. It's really nice. I'm happy I have it. I am not upset about that at all. This is the Pure Lace BB Cream. Um, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up on camera, but it is really, really gray when you first, oh, that was a lot, when you first put it on your face. Like, it's really, really gray. But, um, like, can you see that? It's, like, really taupe colored, and I was very frightened when I first put it on my face. But you can blend it, and it does. 
kind of mesh a bit better but you still have like a very it works once you put like powder and bronzer and blush and highlight once you put everything else on your brows and lips it kind of makes it work but it's a mm, it's I don't know it's not not quite what I want in my life and I have plenty of BB cream um, the one that I do like is a little bit grayish, I think, but not, I don't like that. I don't know. I might keep it. It does have SPF 30. It's only like 10 milliliters. I could totally use that up in like a month or so, but I don't know. Should I keep it? Should I not? IDK. We'll figure it out later. Well, this is the second to last thing. This is the Tristique Mini Matte Lip Crayon in Tuscan Wine. Now, looking at this, it looked super scary. It said it is what I'm wearing now, and it's not a super scary color now, is it? But looking at here, it looks kind of scary. But then, even in a swatch, to me, it still looked kind of scary. Today is the first time I've worn this all month. I didn't wear it. Um, even though I know I like these mini matte lip crayons from Chastique. It's not maybe the best formula. It doesn't last the best on your lips all day of a day of talking as a teacher. But they're nice colors, they go on nice, they feel nice. So I'm definitely happy to have that. But this year, 2017, has made me realize that I like different colors than I thought I did on my lips. I still like pinky nudes, but I also like reds. And I also like browns and brownie, plummy shades. So, you know, pretty great year all around. I'm moving, I like new lip colors. Woohoo! This is the only thing, well, not the only thing, but one of the things I think is kind of a bust maybe this is the royal and lang nickel precision angled brush i still have no idea how to use this like is this a, like buff color in my nose crease or something or under my eyes for powder or product like i don't know what to use this for and i've not needed to use it all month and i felt fine with my makeup so maybe i just don't need this and now these batteries in my light are dying too but just sucks all around so you know not everything's going great i'm hoping wherever well i know where i'm moving but i hope however i have it set up i don't quite have a need for this i'll actually have a bigger window in my room and i'll be able to use a lot more natural light which will just make me feel a lot better especially in the summer because it'll be sunny until late and i love that all right it is just about 15 minutes and i like to keep these videos around that length don't want them to be too long so last month i liked most of the things i got and I also really like the bag. This month, super love the bag. And I'm really excited about the eyeshadow and the nail polish and the blush. But, like, I have it, so I don't need that exact blush. Um, the cheek thing, him 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 And the sheet masks are going to be great, too. So, June, May. And you know what? I will see you guys next time. Again, I don't really know um how i'm gonna be is filming and uploading i might film things and then upload them later after i've moved idk and then also we have to get internet at the new place <sighs> but by the end of the month i'll be back and as always you can totally find me on instagram and snapchat instagram is where i hang most of the time it's just the same as here caitlin underscore teaches underscore things so come find me there and we can chat about things and it'll be you know it'll be pretty great all right, you guys, I'll let you go. Have a great day. Go pet a cat because, you know, they're super fluffy. I'll see you next time. Bye.